Good afternoon. Uh, yesterday, uh, this nation again was uh, a witness to another random, uh, senseless act of violence in which uh, 12 men lost their lives. But uh, as a Christian, what are we supposed to take from this and uh, uh, deal with uh, this issue of these type of uh, random acts of violence and crimes? The one thing we need to emphasize is the fact that uh, life is short and death is a reality. And that's something that the, uh, the Bible makes very clear and uh, uh, emphasizes. The, uh, if you read uh, Ecclesiastes 7 2, we brought home this great reality and something that the, uh, uh, the Americans, America, American people, do not want to deal with. And it's a uh, crucial part of the gospel. Uh, Americans don't want to deal with the fact that uh, we're all going to die. Uh, uh, the uh, satanic deception is that um, uh, if we're America, at least the life is uh, a, simply a big party that's never going to end. If you look at Ecclesiastes 7.2, it is better to go to the house of mourning than to go to the house of feasting. For that is the end of all men, and the living will lay it to his heart. So the Bible makes it clear that the, uh, that's why you have funerals uh, really is to emphasize not the fact of, uh, uh, for the person who's gone, but the reality of death to the people who witnessed the funeral and the recognition that one day all of us are going to be in that position. We're all going to be going into that uh, box, to that coffin. Um, if we look at uh, Job 14.10, the great reality in life is uh, eternity and where you will speak uh, where you spend it in job uh, 14 10. now of course this is a big problem with the gospel today no one's teaching about death and there's no way you talk about eternity unless you talk about death uh and that's the route that people are, that's the part that people don't want to talk that's a negative part of the gospel that uh first of the reality that we're sinners and of course because of sin we're going to die and uh, death is going to reach all men. Um, Job says here, if a man dieth and wastes the way, yea, man giveth up the ghost, and where is he? And that is the ultimate question. Where are you going to be after you die? Uh, not if you die, but when you die. In uh, Psalm uh, 84, so Psalm 89, Psalm 89, and this again, this is a point, death is uh, a, a um, a fact uh, that uh, isn't being discussed and uh, doesn't want, uh, no one wants to talk about. No one wants to talk about death until uh, uh, we see events like this happen, like 9-11 and uh, like, uh, what happened yesterday, because it is such a, um, an extreme event. But uh, we know every day uh, thousands and thousands of people are dying. And there's a date for, for all of us, a date in which God has set that, it, that, that this is the day that... Um, uh, either if you're a Christian, you're going home, or if you're an unbeliever, uh, you're leaving this earth and going to uh, going to hell. So we got uh, uh, let's see here uh, Psalm 89 uh, and if you, let's see 47 for, uh, Psalm 89:47. Remember how short my time is. Wherefore hast thou made all men in vain? And then Psalm 90. Starting at verse 9. For all our days are passed away in thy wrath. We spend our years as a tale that is told. The days of our years are three score years and ten. And if by reason of strength they be four score years, yet is their strength labor and sorrow, for it is soon cut off and we fly away. So how quickly our lives end. Verse uh, 12. So teach us to number our days, that we may apply our hearts unto wisdom. Our days are numbered. Our days are numbered, and we all think we have uh, forever to live, but we don't. The clock is ticking, and um, uh, every day, every day we move closer to that uh, appointed, uh, appointed destination of with death, and it's coming. And the responsibility of the Christian is to make that reality clear to people that uh, their life is uh, just one breath away, one heartbeat away uh, from going into eternity. And uh, then, then the decisions are over. Then uh, what they decide in time 
will be uh, their uh, eternal destination, heaven or hell. Did they receive Christ as their personal savior or have they stood on their own righteousness and uh, therefore will they spend eternity in hell because of that decision? Verse 14, James 4.14 Whereas well, you know not what shall be on the morrow. That's the great reality. We don't have tomorrow. We think we have tomorrow. We plan for tomorrow, but none of us have tomorrow. Those 12 men who went to work thought they had tomorrow. They had plans for tomorrow. They had plans for the weekend. They had plans for the week after. None of them expected that that day was the last day of their lives. None of them could have thought in the widest imagination of how their lives would have ended. And none of us know how our lives are going to end. Very few of us have an idea of the nature of how God is going to take us home. For what is your life? It is even a vapor that appeareth for a little time and then vanisheth away. For what, and it goes on here, for that you ought to say, if the Lord will, we shall live and do this or that. And that's the reality. We say we're going to do this tomorrow. We're going to do this next day. We're going to do plans. We're going to do this. None of us know we're going to have tomorrow. God decides that. And so we're supposed to live one day at a time, knowing that day is the day is what we have. Tomorrow we don't have tomorrow, and um, uh, an act uh, act that happened yesterday should strike home to us that uh, uh, every day we have is really just a gift from God, and uh, the day our days could end very quickly um, once you know once tomorrow comes. That might be that might be the day for all, any of us. So death is the uh, fact of the negative part of the gospel that isn't being preached and taught uh, in the uh, churches and by evangelists. Uh, they want to teach the positive part of the gospel, but no one's going to, into eternity, uh, born of course the rapture, except through death. That's the door we all have to go through. And um, we must make it clear as Christians that the great reality a man has to face is that their time is short. And in that short time, he has a decision to make uh, for Christ or against Christ. And that decision, that one single decision, is going to determine whether they spend eternity in heaven or in hell. Amen. Thank you.